I'm Troy Miller, Director of Product Marketing, and I'm excited to tell you about SensorSwitch VLP, an easy and innovative way to change occupancy sensor settings using your mobile phone. With the SensorSwitch VLP app available for both iPhone and Android, altering behaviors like occupancy time delay can be accomplished in a few easy steps. Previously, changes to sensor settings using push-button programming required lift truck equipment and significant safety precautions. Today, SensorSwitch VLP with integrated Bluetooth technology allows you to configure sensors from the safety and convenience of the facility floor. Let's take a look at how easy it is to install and configure a Bluetooth-enabled SensorSwitch sensor with VLP. First, install the Bluetooth-enabled VLP sensors. Then you download the app, log in, and program with VLP. Remember, safety first when you're working with electrical components. Before you begin the installation process, make sure you turn off the power at the main breaker, that you wear insulated gloves, and that your eyes are properly protected. Install the fixtures with the integrated sensors per installation instructions and then restore power. If you haven't already, go to the App Store or Google Play and download the SensorSwitch VLP app with Bluetooth technology. The first time you start the app, you'll be asked to sign in. That's so you can manage profiles, which can help you remember PIN codes and frequently change settings. So enter your email address and create a password. If you've already used the Clarity app, you can use that login. Okay, once you're all signed in, you'll start the process by selecting the appropriate sensor from the sensor selection screen. In this case, let's select Halion. Notice that Halion supports BLE and flash modes of communication. Since BLE uses Bluetooth to communicate, we'll select it to program our fixtures. With the sensor settings screen, you'll notice a pin is required. Sensors won't come with a pin code, so you'll have to set it. We'll use six zeros in this case. And you have 45 minutes to set that pin code after power up. If you don't establish a pin code, no need to worry. Your Halion sensor will function according to its defaults. Whenever you decide to take advantage of VLP in the future, simply cycle the power and set the pin as if you were starting from a new installation. Now that you've selected the code, you can set occupancy time delay, trim, and photocell settings. Selecting the toggle switch enables the behavior mode and allows you to select available values or modes. Once satisfied with your selections, tap the next button. As Bluetooth devices are detected on the in-range fixture screen, the list will populate. Select the Bluetooth enabled sensors you want to modify by tapping the checkbox next to the listed sensor. To identify a particular fixture to program, click the Identify button and the fixture will repeatedly strobe. If you want to customize and name fixtures to aid in identification, tapping on the arrow next to the device will open the Rename Device window where changes can be made. Once you're ready to program, Tap the Send to Selected Devices button and the process begins. As the mobile device pairs to each sensor in the selected list, it establishes a secure one-to-one -one connection and transmits the configuration settings. Once completed, the checkboxes will turn green and the fixtures will either cease strobing or toggle to let you know programming was successful. With the ability to queue up and batch program multiple sensors, Configuring sensors has never been quicker and easier. Bluetooth programming with the SensorSwitch VLP app, it's that easy. Visit us online at www.acutybrands.com for more information about VLP.